Yeah, let us discuss about the uh, dual band highly managed rice patch antenna. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So, a uh, micro strip patch antenna is a low profile antenna. It has a number of advantages over than other antennas. So, they have the capability to integrate with microwave circuits and therefore they are very well suited for applications such as uh, cell devices and WLAN applications. So, WLAN applications means that is a wireless LAN networks and the navigation systems and many others. So Microsoft Patch has uh, many advantages over than other than. So it is lightweight and then also inexpensive and the electronics like uh, local area networks can be integrated with patch antenna easily with the communicator. So in this proposed work, the highly mini-history dual patch antenna was designed by using the HFSS software. So the mini history technique is used to based on the combination of shorting pin and defective ground structure. So that is called a DGS. So the shorting pin is uh, propagated with ground plane and the pr a particular patch antenna. And dual band frequencies is obtained by using a, a U slot in the ground layer. So that is a U slot in the particular ground layer that is called a DGS. So the DGS is a defective ground structure. So the this process the dielectric of substrate is 4.4 that is f 4 substrate is used in the antenna and then the radiation pattern and then directivity return loss VSWR so that is a voltage standing wave ratio and then bandwidth of the proposed antenna or, uh, or these are calculated by using the HFSS software so the HFSS is the high frequency structure simulator by using the design and then calculated the all these results and comparing those results by using the existing system of the antenna so the highly miniature dual patch antenna is designed using the HFSS design yeah let us look at the flow diagram of the process so these are the overall flow diagram and the structure first of all we using the, uh, we, we should be open the HFSS software so that is a high frequency structure simulator software and then we create a new design so whatever it may be we design that is a new blank page will be displayed so that is a uh, create a new project design and then substrate model in design what uh, in the process particular process we using the f for substrate so like that there are different substrates rogers like that so substrate model in the design will be used uh, the pages will be displayed like the substrate and then select the patch model so here we using the rectangular patch antenna so here we using the rectangular by using the dimension x and y process whatever it may be uh, in the given paper so that is uh, like that select the patch model and then the shown in the figure by using the yeah this uh, this is a page of the substrate and the patch so pa substrate is like in the sandwich model so substrate is uh, in between the layer between the top antenna and then back bottom of the ground so in the substrate we here we using the f4 substrate the dielectric constant is 4.4 and then uh, sub and then patch and now here we using the rectangular patch and now the top of the substrate so this is the process of creating the substrate and the patch and then to design the bottom and top so here uh, we be using the top model and then here we using the bottom so here we using the bottom model is uh, like a dgs so that is a defective ground structure by using the u slot that will that will be displayed like yeah, this is the DGS design, so like a U slot. So U slot design will be displayed by using the ground plane. So here we're using the substrate top and bottom. So the top and bottom, like that top antenna is a patch antenna, and then the bottom we're using the defective ground structure of the process. And then we assign the boundaries and excitation. So in boundaries, we're using the perfect electric field. Electric field must be passed in the top patch antenna, and then also a bottom patch antenna, and then excitation. So excitation here, we're using the coaxial feeding. So coaxial feeding by using the wave port analysis. Coaxial feeding, uh, it must be given to the top of the, and then top to bottom of the antenna. So the excitation will be must the wave port antenna will be displayed. So let's figure this on in. Yeah, this is the one type of coaxial feeding yeah, on the bottom of the process. So that is a uh, the inner ring is a coaxial probe, coax pin, and coax outer coax. So this is called a coaxial feed by using the excitation of wave port. And then we calculating uh, to set up the analysis, uh, like the assign the frequencies, whatever it may be, we calculating the frequencies like in the GHz or a terahertz. So whatever frequency we will be assigned, and then to assign the vacuum of boundary for radiation. So radiation means uh, to product the environment by uh, using the antenna. So to product the environment to assign the vacuum boundary of the radiation. Finally, we get the results like uh, radiation pattern, return loss, VSWR, and bandwidth. So all the results, uh, particular process we will calculate it by using the HFSS software. So the o these are the overall running procedures or in the flow diagram of the process of the operation. Yeah, let us discuss about the running procedure of the process. So this is the 
open type of HMSS um, window. This is the blank window. Here we are using the open design. Whatever may be designed will be open. So here we are using a dual band mini stress patch and all that will be designed will be open. So let's take a time to open the process. Yeah, now well, I will open the design of dual band circle mini mesh patch antenna and then the process will be outgoing the rectangular patch and then the value of the discussion so here is the validation of the process so design settings 3d model and boundaries and excitation and then calculate the file analysis setup and then optics and radiation set so here we using the validation checkbox and then the, this is the overall run analysis all here we clicking the analysis all the all the process will be run and then finally we getting the results of return loss vswr bandwidth and the radiation pattern of the patch antenna here these are the running procedure offered to how to run the process and then finally we discuss about the results so the results all must be in the calculated in the form of waveforms so the results are yeah this is the return loss of the graph minus 10 is a particular below minus 10 is a working condition of the antenna so this is the point of uh, for example this this point is indicated 2.4 GHz minus 15 dB and then M4 is a 2.7 minus 17 dB so here like that this is a return loss on the plot and the gain total so this is a 3D plot of the polar gain so the polar gain we calculating the 3D x, x and y is an axis and then finally calculate the radiation pattern so radiation pattern here we obtain the pi 180 degree to obtain all the degrees for example 1 degree means that is a pi is equal to 0 degree so the frequency must be 9.112 GHz so this is a plotting of the radiation pattern and then this is all one type of radiation pattern return loss of the process so this is all the type of the directivity by calculating the results here we are using the directivity of the process and then finally calculate the return loss of the process and then must be directivity in no one dimension of that so we have many results are calculating the create model and then solution term so by using the rectangular plot here we are using the terminal VSWR and then DB by calculating a new repo calculating the VSWR antenna. So this is the VSWR of the process. Here we are using the marker and we will calculate the 2.793 and then calculate the 1.9. So, so this is the overall running procedure of the process. Thank you for listening this video.